Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Barry Herniman's Cloverleaf paint box. First of all, disclaimer, these are on loan from Streets Art, a local art shop here in Singapore. Big thanks to them for providing these paint boxes to make this review possible. So there are several configurations for these paint boxes. I have two that I'm going to show you today. This is the original configuration with the fold-out flaps. Uh, you have to fold it in certain uh, order. Let me just give you the bottom line up front. This design is very functional. It's made of plastic. The build quality seems durable enough. This box is more suitable for those who paint on large pieces of paper because the paint wells here are quite big and they are quite deep. Same with the mixing wells, they are big and deep. So this will allow you to hold a lot of paint and allow you to use big brushes. One downside to this design is if you want to swap out the colors and there is existing paint, I'm not sure what's the best way to do so because this tray is a single piece. This box is unlike other watercolor boxes that have removable pens. So that's the bottom line and now let's take a closer look at this palette. So this whole palette is made with plastic and it's quite lightweight. You can hold this very easily with one hand. There is this area here where you can place your thumb. There is no ring on the back. This box is four centimeters thick, which is quite thick, about two times thicker compared to a typical metal watercolor box. And this is 12.5 by 12.5 centimeters, including the extruded parts here on the side. Barry Honeyman is a painter, art instructor, and author based in UK. He has several books published and they are quite good. I have reviewed some of them on my YouTube channel and blog. Do check them out. I'll leave links for you in the video description below. So the main selling point here is this palette box can hold a lot of paint and you can use this with very big brushes. The other box that I have here, um, this is just for holding uh, paint. So it has one full out flap here and two trays. There are 13 full size and one half size wells, just like the other box. And there is a hole here. I'm actually not sure what that hole is for because if it's for holding brushes, this angle is like way too low. So this is probably for you to hold on to. And since this paint box does not have any mixing wells, it's probably best used at home or in a studio. In case you're wondering if you can put standard size pens into these paint wells, um, you cannot, it does not fit, it doesn't go in. With the half pens, same thing, it doesn't go in and if you turn it this way yes it can go in but there is a lot of wasted space anyway there is a new version of this tray which was released recently that can hold standard half pans and perhaps full pans i'll put the links to where you can find that in the video description below let's look at the mixing area there are slight extrusions for the outline of the clover leaf design Another new design element with the new boxes is instead of one single well like this, they have a split here in the middle. So now you get two wells. The pricing in Singapore currency is $79.50 for this box and $59 for this box. I will also list the prices that I found online on other websites. All right, let me know in the comment section below what you think about these paint boxes. And if you want to see the paint box that can hold the full and half pans, you can check out the video from Mind of Watercolor, which I will link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys again. Bye.